On the commemoration, uh, let me recall that uh, the violent suppression of the peaceful Tiananmen Square democracy uh, protest of 1981 um, uh, at the time shocked the world. And at the time, the European Council, which was meeting in Madrid on 26 and 27 uh, of that year, strongly condemned the brutal repression that ensued. Um, we are now over 30 years later, and the European Union continues to mourn the victims and offer its condolence uh, to uh, the families uh, of the victims. Um, the exact numbers of who died were detained or disappeared on 4th of June and in subsequent crackdown have never been confirmed and may never be known. But we must continue to honor their memory. We can only do justice to history if we learn from it. Those dating in connection with the 1989 events or with current activities to commemorate it must be guaranteed the legal safeguards and due process. We also expect the immediate release of the human rights defenders and lawyers detained in and convicted in, conviction, in connection with these events uh, or with uh, activities protecting the rule of law and democracy. Now, more specifically on the commemoration, um, Hong Kong and Macau uh, have indeed a long tradition of commemorating the Tiananmen Square uh, democracy protests of uh, 1989 uh, and their violent suppression. These commemorations are a strong signal that key freedoms continue to be protected. We note the restrictions that have been put in place uh, in this year uh, in both uh, Hong Kong and Macau uh, on health grounds. Um, and we trust that the people of Hong Kong and Macau will nevertheless be free to mark the anniversary appropriately. Uh, a clear commitment to fully respecting guaranteed rights and freedom is now more important than ever in light of recent developments. On the question regarding um, uh, the issue of visa and what you ex uh, were asking um, in regards to uh, the announcement that were made by the UK, um, I don't have anything to, uh, to comment. Um, I, as you know, uh, Hong Kong, more generally speaking, was one of the elements that were discussed uh, last Friday. So there's uh, uh, already the uh, dis um, discussion on the on the events on, on the on the legislation. Um, among member states within the European Union. Uh, and you will have seen that uh, the high representative, uh, Vice President of Borrell, uh, issued a declaration on behalf of the European Union, specifically on Hong Kong. But uh, this is what I have to, to say at this stage. Merci, Virginie. Let's stay uh, with external affairs. Um, are there any other questions related to external affairs for us today?